This genius jig just changed woodworking forever. Let's go. I'm gonna show you how to fix a chisel that is severely damaged. I even cut a screw in half with it just to give it some more damage. And I'm gonna be able to fix this in mere seconds where this would actually take 20, 30 minutes the old way. The new way takes a minute or so. Not only that, I have a full set of Narex Richter chisels here, never been sharpened. I'm gonna show you how fast we can sharpen this whole set. Let's go. Now I have a video on sharpening chisels and you have to have like several different steps through there where you're flattening the back and then you have different grits you're running through. And then you also have like water and then the strop and it's like a lot. And to invest in a system like that costs a lot, but this fixes that. You're talking about less than $50 for this kit. There's gonna be a jig that you're gonna to need to build, but there are free plans available and it's dead simple to make this. Anybody can make it with just a couple pieces of wood and then you're gonna be off to the races. Let me show you how this works. This is the Tay Tools chisel sharpening system. This isn't? And it is a little system that you can purchase for less than $50. That's what's great about this. It's affordable and it's fast and it's something you could actually use even if you've never sharpened a chisel before. Now what you're gonna get in this kit are two acrylic discs. You'll peel the paper off of those and then you're just gonna apply some of this 3M Cubitron 775L adhesive backed sandpaper. And that's where the magic is in this because this 3M Cubitron paper isn't like normal sandpaper. I've done a whole video on what makes 3M different, but basically the rundown is they have small precision made triangles of grit that is adhered to this paper and it doesn't get as hot and it lasts much longer than standard sandpaper. And that's where the magic is because you don't wanna overheat your chisels when you're trying to sharpen them. And this 3M allows us to do that uh, and then keep a really good lukewarm. It never gets really hot uh, when you're doing this. So that's key. This is the jig we're gonna use. Before I show you how fast it is to sharpen brand new chisels straight out of the box. So if you wanted to order some chisels with this kit, I would highly recommend the box set of Narex Richter. These are fantastic chisels, not overly priced for what you're getting. And then you'll be able to sharpen them straight out of the box and you'll be ready to go. Now, the reason I say that is most chisels will never be as damaged as this one that you see here. I've cut a screw with it, I've dropped it on concrete. I've purposely damaged this beyond what would be normal, just to show you that we can repair that. You may drop it on the concrete and damage the edge, but it's very simple to fix with the system. And then also, if you have a new set of chisels, you're not gonna need to go through half of the steps. You're already gonna have most of the way done. You're just gonna use this jig and get those really sharp, really fast. You're gonna get two of these discs, and the reason that is you're gonna set up one with the 80 grit paper. The more damaged chisels, you're gonna need that. Otherwise, you're really only gonna need this 220 with the leather strop that you're gonna attach on the back with adhesive stick-on paper that you're gonna get. And this is gonna hold everything you need right here. Most of the time, all you're gonna do is use this one because you're just gonna be touching up your chisels to get them back sharp after you've used them under normal uses. This is all you'll need. But you will have this 80 grit in case one gets really damaged. One quick important note, on your drill press, you want to get that down to 600 RPMs, give or take. Low and slow is what we're going after. We don't want this spinning too fast. I got mine set. All right, I'm gonna chuck in the 80 grit because I wanna fix that really damaged chisel. What you wanna do is make sure you chuck all three holes. That's gonna make sure you get even tightness all the way around. You want everything spinning nice and flat. When you put your jig in place, you want that about a 16th of an inch below the surface of this. Just eyeball it, we're not making a clock. You also want your chisel to hit the outer edge of this paper, not too deep in there, right along this outer edge, somewhere within the first, I don't know, inch or so, be fine. And the way you'll adjust that to and fro is the fence on your drill press. If you don't have one, just clamp a block of wood there. That way you can just stop it where you need to. Now I have a couple of others that aren't quite as damaged as the smaller one, but it does have a lot of glue. I use this one a lot. These are really cheap. I bought them off of Amazon. I think they're skill brand if I remember right, uh, but they're very, very inexpensive. Uh, not recommended for uh, a lot of good use, but they are handy to have a cheap set. But I use this one a lot. To, I had a lot of glue build up on it because I was scraping glue with it. To flatten the back of the chisel, do not do this. What you want to do is take it from the bottom and move it to the top. And there's a specific way you want to do this so you don't ruin or damage your chisel and make it harder to sharpen. So I'm using the disc with the 80 grit on it and I'm gonna apply a 220 grit disc on the top of it since there's nothing on there anyway. Now what you wanna do is put the heel down first on the side that's spinning away from you and then lower it down. You're just gonna hold it flat for just a second or two and then take it off. You literally, it's gonna take just a minute. 
Now here I'm gonna fix this extremely damaged chisel. I took it to the jig and then just a little bit of pressure to clean off the edge. Basically removes all that damage and we have a nice flat front. <laughs> then what's that like 50 seconds? The, the damage is gone. Look at that. <laughs> 50 seconds, 50. This thing is ready for sharpening now. I've got the roughness done here. Now you may see some sparks flying off of this when you're doing that. That's to be expected. You're, you're basically grinding metal. And so make sure that your area is clear of a bunch of sawdust, stuff like that. But otherwise, like I'm on a rubber mat here, I'm not overly concerned about that at all. But I know some people will see those sparks and kind of think, oh no, that's fire. Uh, it's just tiny sparks. Should be fine, just clean your area. All right, now I've got the 220 grit with the leather strop on here. Now you do get compound with this to be able to charge your leather strop. This is horse hide, so it's, it will last a very long time. It's very durable. It's basically what you want for sharpening chisels, so I'm told. So for the one that was covered in glue, I've already uh, got the back flat, and now I'm going to just sharpen it. Once you touch up the top of this chisel, what you're gonna do is feel the back, and you're gonna feel like a little, basically almost a tiny piece of wire back there. It's a burr. We've created a burr. That's when you know that you've gotten down to uh, sharp. You've gotten down to the bare metal. What you want to do is you want to take your chisel and remember heel first on the strop and just kind of touch the back of the chisel up. And what that's going to do is knock that burr off and it's going to make it super, super sharp. Then you'll turn it over to do the bevel and then you raise it up to put that micro bevel on there. Now this is the one that was severely damaged and you can see here that I've got it back right. And all I have to do is put this edge on there using this 220 and the strop. So we were able to take this extremely damaged, basically throw away level chisel and fix it within a couple of minutes max, probably a minute and a half, two minutes. And then if you want to play around with the strop and get it slick as owl snot, you can do that. It doesn't really need to be that way, but it'll cut through paper just like it is. So very impressed. That's sharp chisel. Now, if you want a, sh a polished finish, which a lot of people do, I don't care about that. All I care about is it's sharp, but some people do want that polished finish and there's an easy way to do that. I'll link to this in the description. This is the back flattening kit that you can get. It's a nice flat piece of glass and then you're gonna have those stick on 3M Cubitron paper that walks you through the grits for 320, 400. Uh, 600 and then up to 1000 grit and that'll get you that nice polished finish that a lot of people are looking for. Now realistically that's not how you're going to use this because you're going to get a set of chisels or you already have a set of chisels and they have an okay edge or they've never been sharpened. How long does it take to sharpen on a system like this? This is a so I've never sharpened this five chisel Narex set, and this is how easy it is to put an edge on these chisels. Now, all I did was start with the biggest chisel, went to the smallest, and after each one, I made sure that it was sharp enough to cut paper. If it'll cut paper, it'll cut wood. So <laughs> this is pretty easy. If you hold it there too long, you're gonna take off way more material than's actually necessary. You don't need to do that. You're just touching it to that sandpaper a couple, few, three, four, five times. Once that's done, you're gonna move it to the top on that strop and finish off that sharpening. This thing is razor sharp. And now on these smaller ones, you can see that it literally took me two or three different touches to that sandpaper to get it sharp or ready for the strop. Two minutes, 30 seconds to sharpen five chisels straight out of the box. Man, you can't beat that. Now a few pointers. You want your jig centered up as much as you can with the center line there. That's the way you don't uh, wind up with a weird angle on your chisel. You're hitting this at the exact spot, like right in this area here. That's going to give you a nice flat surface. And again, you may see some sparks come out the side depending on uh, how much material you're having to remove. What you're looking for is when you start out, you can see there's two different uh, basically finishes there. So you're wanting to make it all uniform. You want it to look exactly the same. Once it looks all exactly the same, then you can move on to the next step, which is the stropping. And you're just taking small bites at a time. You don't want to just plunge it in there and hold it, but you're just easing it in there. There we go. Simple as that. What's great about this system now is the fact that once you have them sharp, all you have to do is touch them up. Literally just use the strop to put that very sharp edge back on there. And it's literally going to take you seconds to sharpen them or resharpen them once you have them sharp, so long as you don't drop them or damage them, which most of the time you're not going to do. So being able to resharpen a chisel at this speed will mean you'll always have a sharp chisel in the shop. I can't believe I was able to take this chisel that has been damaged like this for years because I wasn't about to try to fix this the old hand way. This was fixed within a couple of minutes. 
very impressive and it's stupid sharp like you can see it's cutting paper it's cutting wood like it it's a sharp chisel now this is a very cheap chisel so the, the metal isn't as durable or as hard as something like these Narex chisels but I was still able to sharpen that back up now the Narex chisels next level you can shave wood shavings with these things just touching them up here on the drill press that's what I like about this and this was the very first time I've used this system on camera because I wanted to show how easy this really is. And I'm not your hand tool guy. I love power tools, but being able to sharpen hand tools like this with speed, accuracy, and ease, uh, that's right up my alley right there. I'll keep these chisels sharp from now on. Now granted, I am not, not a professional hand tool user. Never have been, probably never will be. And that's why I like this system. Now, could I have gotten this a little more shiny uh, a little more presentable, probably, but why? When it's cutting and it's sharp and it's doing what I need it to do, it's easy to use. I don't know what else to say. This thing's awesome. If you like this video, you gotta check out the bow fence system for table saws. Next level, changes table saws forever. Click in that box, click in the box, get to the big old virtual fist pump. Thanks for watching.